Hello everyone, it's Michelle, and on this Arc Genesis video, I'm going to be showing you a very easy way to kill the giant turtle or the megachalon so that you can get shell fragments to convert into cementing paste. Now, it's no secret to anybody that's been playing the game now since it came out that you can take the shell fragments that you get from killing the giant turtle and convert it into cementing paste in the grinder. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. But the main thing I'm going to be focusing on is the simple and easiest way to kill the giant turtle so that you can get your shell fragments early in game. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the key secret to getting yourself a lot of shell fragments is actually a blood stalker. So what you need to do is go to the bog biome and you need to have a couple of things equipped with you. And here's the thing. It does not matter what level your Bloodstalker is. The higher the level, it is going to be a little bit easier, but you can do it with any level Bloodstalker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a Bloodstalker tamed real quick, and then we can continue the process. And if you're curious where I'm at, I'm at 73.8 by 72.9. This is where I am right now on the map. And let's go ahead and get this rolling. If I look in my inventory as well, I have the, the usual blood packs. I have enough in case if I come across a level 150. I have ghillie armor on. I have bug repellent that I just equipped. My GPS and parachutes in case things go bad. Alright, and this one is level 100. And again, you can do this with any level Bloodstalker. It doesn't matter really the level. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this tame up. Alright, and there we go, our Bloodstalker is tamed. So now we can continue on to the ocean biome and start getting some of the shell fragments. Once you have your Bloodstalker, you can actually take it to the water biome and you can see that it is gliding on water. If you press X, it'll submerge itself and swim under water. But we don't need it to submerge, we need it to stay on top of water. And what we are looking for are the giant turtles. So. An easy way to spot them is when they surface up to the top, but another easy way is if you press K and you go underneath the ocean and you look for them, like so. I don't see any around me right now, so I'm going to go ahead and look for one, and I will show you guys in just a second. Alright, and there is a giant turtle right there in front of us. And it's best if you get the turtle by itself and not next to another one, because as soon as you start attacking a turtle, the giant turtles, the other ones will aggro onto you as well too, and it makes the process a little bit more complicated. So what we need to do is go on top of it, and we need to start attacking it. And there we go. So now it's angry. And when you start attacking it with the Bloodstalker, what it will do is it will come up on the surface and you can stand on its back. And all you have to do is keep attacking it with the C. And there we go, that was a level 50 that I killed, and you can harvest it with the actual Bloodstalker too. And that got me quite a bit of shell fragments. Now the only thing that you have to worry about when you're in the ocean biome on the surface like this with the Bloodstalker are the other turtles that aggro onto you as well as Megalodons, because Megalodons will come up to the surface if they see your Bloodstalker and start attacking you. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is take the shell fragments back to our base and I'm gonna show you about the converting if you didn't know this already. Now that we're back at base, we need to learn the engrams that are necessary to convert the shell fragments into chitin so that we can then convert that with stone to cementing paste. So we need to go to our engrams. First thing I'm gonna learn is the chemistry bench. The other thing that you need to learn is the grinder. And there we go. So you must be at least level 64 with this. And you must be at least level 82 with the chemistry bench. Now you don't need the chemistry bench, it just makes the process a little bit faster. You could just use regular mortar and pestle if you wanted to. So 64 is the highest level really, or the lowest level that you can do this. Alright, so let's go ahead and start crafting our chemistry bench as well as our grinder and then we're going to convert that shell fragment. Now that we have our grinder and our chemistry bench down, we can go ahead and begin the process. And again, you don't actually need a chemistry bench. You can do this with a mortar and pestle. The mortar and pestle will just take you a little bit longer. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the grinder. We have gasoline inside of it. And we're going to go over to our blood stalker, grab the shell fragments, and here's the thing. You see the, the chitin right there? It even tells you crafting requirements that one shell fragment. I'm going to put one shell fragment in, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what this does here. Go ahead and craft and that one shell fragment made 50 chitin. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest in there, and this is just from killing one turtle. Look at all of the chitin that you get from killing one turtle after you convert it in the grinder. This is absolutely ridiculous. You can see right here that the storage is going up really high. It's even going past the actual storage itself. We can go ahead and turn that off. And I'm just going to drag some chitin from here. Turn on the generator so we can give the chemistry bench power. Turn that on because it has gasoline inside of it. Dump all the chitin in. And you learn cementing paste real quick. And we have endless amounts of chitin coming. I mean cementing paste coming from that chitin that we harvested. I can keep transferring that chitin from here over. and you can see that my cementing paste is stacking. Cementing paste is very hard to get as you are starting off. The only good way to get it is from HLNA market or from beaver dams that you find in the Arctic. You can go to the bog biome as well too and you can take a frog there and get instant cementing paste but the bog biome is actually quite dangerous. You can also go to one of the volcano caves with a megatherium and you can take the megatherium into the volcano because there are a lot of spiders and arthropleuro that spawn there. So you can get chitin that way as well too, but this is probably the easiest way for you to get cementing paste and it's so easy to do because all you need is a blood stalker, which is something that you can get early on in game. And you don't have to have a high level one either. This one was only level 100, so and it tamed out to one th um, 120 129. Alright guys, and that is how you kill the giant turtles, the megachalons, very easy. And again, you just do it with the blood stalker, so that way you can get endless amounts of cementing paste. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you next time. And a big shout out to Tyrant for figuring out the method with killing the giant turtle.